January is Obscure Characters Month, looking at lesser known and cult favourite Transformers characters. So let's kick off 2022 with an Autobot many fans first encountered in comic and toy form within the last year or two. The hard-driving Autobot bodyguard, Road Rage. The toy that would eventually become Road Rage was first released by Japanese toy company Takara in their Diaclone toy line in 1984. The figure transformed into a red Chevrolet Corvette Stingray and featured flip-out wings that allowed the car to adopt a flight mode. The Stingray was licensed by Hasbro and imported to become part of the second year of the Transformers toy line in 1985. They changed its colour from red to blue and released it as the vain Autobot, Trax. Trax was just one of several imported Diaclone toys whose colours were changed for Transformers. But the red Stingray became a more famous example than most for two reasons. One, due to an unaltered Diaclone toy being used as reference material, Trax was coloured red in the battle scene painting that was on the back of all 1985 toy packaging. And two, the version of the Transformers toy line released in several countries in mainland Europe by Hasbro subsidiary Milton Bradley actually included a red version of Trax instead of a blue one. This odd colour discrepancy is because these were really repackaged Diaclone Stingray toys. You see, French company Justra had been selling Diaclone in Europe since 1983. But when Hasbro obtained the license for the region in 1985, rather than producing a new run of blue Trax figures of their own, they acquired the red figures Justra had already manufactured and repackaged them in Transformers boxes. For nearly two decades, the Red Stingray was an interesting novelty, a foreign variant of Trax. But that changed in 2002 when Takara reissued the figure, making it available in the Transformers toy line outside of Europe for the first time, and reimagined it as a brand new character named Road Rage. A female Autobot at a time when female Transformers were still extremely rare, she was sold through online retailer eHobby in a two-pack with fellow Autobot Crosscut. Crosscut was an interplanetary diplomat who served as the Autobot's representative in negotiations with alien races, and Road Rage was his bodyguard, chosen for the task because she was also well versed in alien cultures and customs. In robot mode, she was cheerful and agreeable, but when she transformed, she lived up to her name, as a chronic malfunction in her vehicle mode's navigation system caused her to turn into a short-tempered, aggressive driver. Now, it would be nearly 10 years before Road Rage would actually feature in any Transformers media, but she finally showed up for a brief appearance in the Transformers Collectors Club comic in 2011, flirting with Autobot Lothario Sideburn in a bar. The same year, the club also introduced a Transformers animated version of the character, based like the original on the animated incarnation of Trax. Instead of a bodyguard, this Road Rage was a bounty hunter who pursued criminals out of a sense of justice rather than for money. In 2012, Road Rage was featured in a comedic script reading held at official convention BotCon as one of a group of Autobots captured by Beast Wars Megatron. One of the exclusive toys available at the convention was Shattered Glass Trax a recolor of the 2010 Reveal the Shield Trax figure representing an evil Mirror Universe version of the classic Autobot. The figure sported the red colors of the original Diaclone toy, meaning that while it wasn't an official Road Rage figure, it could certainly stand in for her. The second official toy of the original Road Rage was released in Takara's high-end collector-targeted Masterpiece toy line in 2015. A retool and recolor of the Masterpiece Trax figure, the toy's colour layout drew partial inspiration from the animated Road Rage, as did the new expanded profile that came with it, which fleshed out Road Rage's backstory, establishing that she had fled Cybertron during the war and had worked among aliens as a bounty hunter before meeting Crosscut. The profile stated that she had recently been assigned to hunt down the Decepticon double agent Flipsides, and the following year, the Transformers Legends manga showed her having successfully completed her mission. 
Road Rage's biggest role to date has been in IDW Publishing's 2019 Transformers comic book. Set in the era before the outbreak of the war, this series presented Cybertron as peacefully coexisting with the rest of the galaxy. With many alien immigrants living on the metal planet, and Cybertronian colonies existing on alien planets alongside their native populations. A setting that was a good fit for a character with a history of interacting with alien species like Road Rage. IDW's Road Rage was the bodyguard of alien relations specialist Nautica, and it was implied that the pair's relationship had the potential to become something more than professional. In their showcase debut issue, the pair were summoned back to Cybertron from a diplomatic tour of the colonies, but first they had to stop an alien terrorist from blowing up their spacecraft. Once back on their homeworld, they helped investigate how its alien residents were involved in a recent increase in social and political unrest, and aided in the evacuation of the alien population when that unrest exploded into a Decepticon takeover of the planet. It took nearly 20 years for Road Rage to go from being a Diaclone toy to her own unique Transformers character, and it would be nearly another 20 before Hasbro would finally release their first official toy of her in the Transformers Kingdom line in 2021. Naturally a recolor of that series Trax figure, it's proof that no matter how obscure their origins, or how long it may take, any Transformers character can ride the road to greatness. And those are the basics on Road Rage. Tell me in the comments where you first encountered this dangerous driver. If you've enjoyed this look into the lesser known corners of Transformers history, remember to like and subscribe for more as Obscure Characters Month continues every week in January. 